Hi everyone, welcome to another Craft Kitsune tutorial video. This video is for the February 2022 kit. This craft kit lets you create lots of miniature desserts. So first, let's jump into the unboxing for the month. Here is the flyer for the month and the illustrations are done as usual by my sibling. The first supply we should talk about is the exclusive mold for the month. This mold has 13 different designs on it and all designs were done by scratch by me and a 3D modeling program and then made into a mold exclusively for Craft Kitsune. There are lots of desserts and pastries on this mold and everything is a 1 to 12 scale. Next we have 3D UV resin in white and if you've never used 3D UV resin you'll see how it works later in the tutorial. Next we have some white air dry clay. It is Modena brand and it's imported from Japan. Next we have this set of flower embellishments as well as some microbeads and pearls to use as the centers of the flowers. Next we have some miniature items. So this is a set of four plates. And then we have this slightly larger oval plate with ridges and then a slightly smaller plate as well. And then finally we have this set of utensils. So a silver set of a spoon, a fork, and a knife. And all the plates have holes so you can make them into keychains or jewelry. There are a lot of things you can make with this month's kit. So for the tutorial video, I thought I'd just go over some general tips and tricks and then at the end show you everything that I made. Air dry clay hardens on its own once it's exposed to air. So tear off what you think you'll use or use the whole package and then store any remaining clay in a Ziploc bag to prevent it from hardening. So you'll want to knead the clay so that it's easier to work with and so that it'll mold into the different cavities easier. You can use a dab of baby oil in the cavities to make the clay easier to push out. This way you don't have to stretch it and possibly deform the piece in order to get it out. You can color the clay using acrylic paint. I just add a dab at a time and if I need to make the color darker, I'll add another dab. And then you just kind of fold the paint into the clay until it's all the way blended in. After you work with the different designs, you'll learn how much clay is needed in order to fill the cavity. At first you might need to guess and then push it in and then see if you need to take away or add any clay in order to get the right amount of clay. So the one design that is a bit tricky to pop out using clay is the pie crust design. And for this one, if you're using clay, I recommend just leaving it in for a few days until it's completely hardened and then taking it out. Um, otherwise, you can also use UV resin. You can also use UV resin for all the other cavities as well. I like to do this particularly for the jello as well as the popsicles. I had a lot of fun with this. I looked at Pinterest for inspiration. I looked up a lot of different jelly style cakes and things like that to come up with some ideas for miniature desserts to make. So now I'm going to show you how I use the 3D UV resin to decorate some pieces. First you will want to open the bottle. So here I just kind of push down the nozzle with a needle tool to open it up. There's also a seal on the inside you'll want to peel off. You can also cut the nozzle to your desired width so you can make thinner lines or wider lines with this uh, supply. So here I'm just kind of applying it like icing, kind of making some beads uh, in between the different layers and then I will go in and add some of the flowers to it as well. So the UV resin will also act as a adhesive. So the 3D UV resin will cure like normal UV resin under a UV light. So here's another cake I decorated using some dollops of the 3D UV resin as well as the flowers. I used it to add some whipped cream to the center of this jello. And then here I took one of the puddings that I made and I had cut out a slice from it before it hardened. This is out of air dry clay. And then I took a scoop of ice cream and then I used the 3D UV resin to place the ice cream on the plate and also make it look like the ice cream had melted a little bit. 
And then I mixed just a little bit of acrylic paint into some of the 3D UV resin that I have here. And then I added it to the center of the pudding design. My goal was to create a lava cake in case you haven't guessed already. And you'll see a close up of the finished piece in just a bit. But then I went ahead and cured it under the UV lamp. And then one final way I use the 3D UV resin is I mixed in some acrylic paint again and this time I'm mixing in some blue and I'm going to be adding it to this pie that I made. And then I'm going to add a whole bunch of blueberries that I made from the air dry clay and I'm going to add it on top of the 3D UV resin and then cure it. And with that let's take a look at some of the finished crafts that I made. This one is probably my favorite piece, mostly because my sibling, Ather J, actually gave me the idea for this one to make a lava cake. So I put it on a little plate, oops, dropped it, <laughs> and gave it some of the mini silverware. I had a lot of fun with this kit, and I hope you will too if you are receiving it. If you are not a Craft Kasune subscriber, you can find out more by going to the main website. This kit, along with the exclusive mold, will be for sale on the website. The kit is while supplies last, and then the exclusive molds are available on an ongoing basis. You can check out all the exclusive molds, as well as other supplies on the website as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!